What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're having back onto the ranked double ladder with this G-Max Lapras and G-Max Alcrami team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on the channel. So this team has actually been a top team. I believe it won like some regionals or some big tournament. So I'm glad I get to show it off. It has G-Max Lapras with Hydro Pump, Freeze Drive, Protect, and Parasong if you don't want to use it as G-Max form. You can actually Parasong and dominate from there. Then you have the G-Max Alcreme as well, which pairs well with this Lapras because the Lapras is like clay instead of like a weakness policy. So you can just decorate it up, have a longer Aurora Veil, and just boost your special attack that way. The Alcreme has Decorate, Dazzling Gleam, Fake Tears to drop special defense, and Protect as well with that Focus Sash. We got our boy Incineroar with that awesome moveset with Fake Out, Flare Blitz, Throat Chop instead of Darkest Slayer. So that's a cool little move change there, but it is still Big Stab and Parting Shot to switch out and keep going back with that Biggie Bear. He's huge. He is tight. Nice. We have the Tokus with Serene Grace for better flinch chances, holding that weakness policy instead of the Lapras, so we have another threat as an attacker with this Tokus with Follow Me, Gleam, Air Slash, and Protect. We got our Clopsy Clops over here with Trick Room that can work really, really well, and Haze right here. Haze is actually going to be coming up big, especially since like Laprases and weakness policy Laprases are huge in the meta. We can Haze and just cancel out all stat changes, so if they want to go into that weakness policy, we can just cancel it out. Say bye bye or really trick him with him. Then in the final spot is this Life Orb Conqueror. He's such a beast. Big damage with this dude with it with the tech. The tech works as a protect. Drain punch, thunder punch, and mock punch with iron first. So all these punch moves will do bigger damage. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. And let me know for question of the day. Who is your new favorite G-Max Pokemon that has been well just released? Like there's been Orb Beetle. Um, who else is there? Alcreme, I think, is new. Lapras uh, and Grimstarl. They're all kind of new. And there's Kingler also allowed in the meta. So let me know who is your new favorite G-Max Pokemon that is allowed to be used. But guys, without further ado, let's try to get some wins with this Alcreme and Lapras team. Rolling into battle number one. This guy has an Inteleon Venusaur. He has that Quash Sableye probably with Allies Switch, Charizard, Exegel, and that competitive Milotic. So I really do not want to lead the uh, Incineroar here. I can see him totally leading that Venusaur maybe. Or... Hmm. I could see him leading the Sableye Venusaur or going into the Charizard Sableye. Could go into that. I think we just go out Creme and uh, Lapras right off the rip. A Creme and Lapras could be a good call. Does he have a lot of physical attackers? No, they're all special besides Extra. So Incineroar? I mean, we have Parting Shot, so that could be good. I mean, who does he do work up against? I mean, I really don't want to trigger that competitive Milotic, but if they're going to play the Drought in the Sunny Day, I definitely want to bring him in here. And then should I go Conkador or should I just take the Trick Room aspect of this game? He has a rather fast Pokemon. Why don't we check the Trick Room aspect? I really don't want to, though. I kind of want Togekiss. It's either Togekiss or Conkador. We can go all heavy attack, or we can take out Incineroar and go in with the, the Togekiss and Conkador. I said we do that. I said we go with this. Final decision. Let's try to start off, because if we can actually decorate this Lapras, just get him on with that big special attack boost, and then set up an Aurora Veil, it's game over. It is game over. This team is so strong. Guys, if you want to catch more content from me, you guys already know the deal. Head to the link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. I've been streaming so much this week. So definitely hit that follow button, turn on your notifications. We've been doing live Pokemon rank battles, viewer battles here too. And we've been crushing it in Animal Crossing. So if you guys have Animal Crossing, definitely come hang out. We can join villages, all that good stuff. And definitely check out the Animal Crossing playthrough. It is tons of fun. I promise you guys will enjoy it. It is one of my favorite games for the Switch right now. But well, he's going to go extra drill into uh, Sableye. I'm gonna go extra drill into Sableye. How do I really want to roll out with this one? I could totally just protect this one and get a decorate off, or I kind of want to get this, uh. I really want to get off this, uh. It's a Roar Bell. I'm just gonna drop this and set up an Aurora Bell. And then, because I can maybe see a fake tears or like a sun or something along those lines. Hmm, I could fake tier it, but I'd rather just go into this, uh, decorate. Or no, he might go for a steel spike on me. He could be going for a steel spike. I'm going to protect and get the Aurora Bell up first. I think that's a call. I think that's a call. Because he's definitely coming in with the Steel Spike. There's no way he's dropping a rock first turn. He's Dynamaxing for sure. No, he's not Dynamaxing. Okay. The potential swap out. The protect might be the call. But I can totally see him. Like, I thought he was going to Dynamax and go into, like, a max Steel Spike and take out my Alcremay for no chances at uh, decorate. So we're protecting here. Hopefully he goes to an Iron Head here and get this Aurora Bell set up. That would be wonderful. But I really do wonder what he's going for. Maybe a Rock Slide? What are you trying to do here? We're going to protect. What is this hunk of junk doing? He's got to be throwing an Iron Head in on me, right? Let's see. Sableye's going for the Fake Out. We block, and he's got to come for the Iron Head, right? 
Let's go. Let's go. Nice little play here from me. We get the protect. We get the war bell set up. Now I can start decorating. Now I can start decorating. We have the war bell. We're going to do some nice damage over here. Go, build, build, build. Not bad, not bad. Main purpose of that was to set up the war bell. And then set up the rain afterwards. And then we can start chilling from here. Just be chilling. And I have my token so I can just follow me out after this. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So with Geyser. I mean, did he have anything too special? Hmm. Yeah, we're going to throw Geyser this way. He, we might see an ally switch. Then I'm going to just decorate this thing. He does not have follow me. So I'm just going to keep boosting this thing so he doesn't just take me out here. Iron Knight's going to fly through. We should be able to eat this one up, to be honest. Yeah, we do be able to eat it up. Don't you dare tell me we flinch. Don't you dare tell me. Ah! This game. This game, dude. We flinch. Get him out of here. Broken. Game's broken. Okay, extra drill down. Uh, what's Sableye doing? Setting up the sunny day, potentially? No, because he, he has to be going for an attack move. He has to be going for an attack move, for sure. Because he would have went first with the prank. Shift. Ah! So what's he going for? A knockoff? Ooh, knock off my leg clay. That's totally fine. We already have the roar bell set up. We already have the roar bell set up. Hmm. We're going to try to go for this decorate once again. Unless if we know he's coming into us. He goes Venusaur. Um, bum, bum, bum. He might try to put me to sleep. He might try to put me to sleep. That's a, that's a, that's a big, uh, it's a big no-no. So I'm still, I'm actually going to go here. A gleam or do I, I'm decorated. I'm totally decorated. Because eventually I could just follow me. Hopefully he misses it somehow. Or he's got a Dynamax and set up Sunny Day. That's got to be a fact. He does not. He does not Dynamax. He's going for that sleep powder. He's going for that sleep powder. I'm hoping he misses. Or is he going to take on my outcome? It doesn't matter. I would like either or. Sleep Powder misses. You love to see it. Sweet Veil. Yes, sir. Sweet Veil. It doesn't miss. We just get this nice Sweet Veil off here. And now we have plus two special attack here. And I can just roll out with these ice moves and do some big damage. I can do some big damage here. So plus two on this. And then, um, how can I roll out from here? We have Sweet Veil, so we're chilling. Big damage. Take out the Venusaur. Let's go. Let's go, yo. This team dominates. This team is so good. I highly recommend using it, especially if you want to push Master Bolt here. It's so good. Dude, that Sweet Veil coming up clutch. He didn't even know. He didn't even know. I thought it missed, but he's definitely Dynamaxing in this sun right now. He's got to be Dynamaxing. So no water moves coming out from us. Not a chance. Um, I might try to fake you, I think. I'm going to protect here, to be honest. In case you want to come after me. And I'm going to go for a, uh, a fake tier over on the Charizard. I'm definitely going to go for a fake tier over on the Charizard. But the Charizard is getting a Dynamax. And I can totally roll into my uh, Togekiss. Kind of do some work from there. Like, who do we have? We brought the Togekiss and the Conqueror. We did bring the Conqueror. So Conqueror could come up clutch in the end with a Mach Punch. Like, I'm not too worried about the Sableye. I'm more so worried about this uh, the Charizard, of course. Of course, because Charizard just poses a big threat, especially in his G-Max form. And it is a G-Max boy. That's shiny. No, it's not shiny. But still, he's such a big threat. I can see him going for an Overgrowth to try to deal some big damage to me. And I have this Protect rolling out. And if I could just start dropping this Special Defense, we could be in a nice little spot. Let's see what happens. Protect coming here. You gonna go for a knockoff? I mean, you can knock off my uh, oh, Creme. I'm totally cool with it. Overgrowth coming through. We kind of saw that coming. We saw that coming. We'll eat this one up with that sash. Or oh, not the sash with the protect. Beautiful. I'm thinking we can eat up another one. So I think we actually gain more HP than we took on that play. But I just gotta keep wasting out these turns. Let's see what happens here. Big tears come through. Yes. Yes. Exactly what we want. Exactly what we want to drop that thing special defense. This thing's gonna come in with the knockoff. Try to take out my Akrami. Does Akrami eat? Akrami does eat. That is a beautiful sight. It's a beautiful sight. And he cannot kill me with another knockoff. So what is he gonna do? What is this play? To be honest. To be honest, I'm just gonna drop a uh I don't wanna perish. I really don't want to perish here. I'll go for the uh do I go for the hydro pump or will freeze try and do more? Hmm, I'll go for the hydro pump. See if we can connect. And this Dazzling Gleam should be able to do some big damage. Because there's no way a knockoff kills us. He's going to have to take us out with the Charizard. We got to go for another overgrowth. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. Go after my Alcremi. I'm chilling with that. I, that's wonderful for me. Because now I can get my Toad Kiss in here and roll with just Follow Me's and kind of go out from there. But I wonder what this thing's doing. Ally Switch? No. Did we connect? We missed, bro. Yo, come on. Don't do me dirty like that. Don't you do me dirty like that. Come on, yo. They're doing me dirty. They're doing me dirty, dirty. It's a fact. That is a fact. All right, let's get this thing up in here. Togi kiss, Togi tog. Do I have my weakness policy tog kiss? I'm definitely just gonna drop a follow me and see what happens. Definitely want to go into this water move. Let's go hydro pump again, and now we'll go into a follow me. Maybe I should have just played the what's it called? 
Maybe I should have just played the uh, the Paris song earlier. That probably would have been nice because we definitely could have wasted our turns with the text following me. But I totally should have played Paris song that turn. That probably would have been the play. But still, then he can just one tap my Conqueror. Yeah, okay. He could have just one tap my Conqueror with the airstream. Yeah. Alright, we're fine here. I wonder what he's doing. I wonder what he's doing. He's got to knock off my item. Right? He's going to knock off my item here, which I'm cool with. I don't really need my weakness policy. I'm not really going for big attack damage. Let's see what happens. Follow me. Pops here. Yes, sir. Get over here. I just need the sun to stop, but then he can just set it up again, which is scary. Wildfire coming again. That's cool by me. We'll eat this one up. Oh, we're not. It's in the sun. I totally forgot. And then it gets a crit. And it gets a crit. You're doing me dirty. You are doing me so dirty here. But my Conqueror does have Mach Punch with Sunny's. Hydro Pump does connect. And look at that. Big damage takes him out even in the drought. Even in the drought, that is going to be the game. That is going to be the game. Let's go. Let's go, guys. That's how it's done. Ripped up there. And he goes for a knockoff. We'll be able to eat that up all day. All day, baby. And Conqueror can come in here. I know Mach Punch won't really do too, too much. Or Mach, my fighting moves cannot even deal damage. So it has no effect. But we do have Thunder Punch with Iron Fist. And we are a life form. So big, big damage. And then we go for another Hydro Pump here. Dude, that thing marked on him. Plus two special attack, minus two special defense for him. Stab and all that. You know, we're doing some big damage. Is it Drought still here? I think it is. Let's see. Is it Drought still here? Yeah, Harsh Sunlight's still here, so I'm just going to roll into a Freeze Dry. Freeze Dry into a Thunder Punch. I'm thinking this dude left the match because Sableye cannot just be running this whole thing. <laughs> That'd be insane. Yep, he canceled the battle. Let's get it. 1-0 with this team. Like I said, this team is so strong and it dominates. A little scared here going into battle number two. He has a full-on rain team. He has the Pelper Blast 3, Drake of Fish, Gyarados, G-Max Lapras probably, and then Ludicolo with Swift Slim. I think I got to play Trick Room here. I think I 100% have to play Trick Room here. But I'm going to go Dust Cops into... Do I go out Cremate for turn one? I definitely want to... I think I'm going to surround this around the Conqueror because he has Iron Fist. Wait, well, not Iron Fist. He has a uh, Thunder Punch. And I can G-Max him into Max Lightning with that Life Orb. So that's big damage right there. So I kind of want to just surround him, surround us with that Conqueror. Conqueror is going to be our main focus here. He has no Lightning Rod Pokemon. Got to watch out for the fish. We got Trick Room. Um, Incineroar, I really don't want to bring Incineroar here. He's just going to get slapped up left. So I think maybe like a Lapras turn one. Because I could play a Parasong. Definitely want to bring Conqueror and Togekiss. But the question is, who's my second one? Decorate Fake Tears. Uh, I think I'm going to go Lapras. I think I'm gonna go Lapras to pose a threat in the rain. And we have, uh, yeah, and we have Freeze Dry. I totally forgot about that. So that's actually not a bad choice at all. Well, let's get it, guys. Hopping into battle number two, baby. Oh my god. This team's so good. I've been using it on the ladder and just winning a good amount of matches. I also do viewer battles on my streams. If I haven't said that, you guys know the deal. But let's get it. Let's go. Dude, Animal Crossing is so much fun. I can't get that game out of my head. Like, I've been playing it since it came out and just been loving it so much. I highly recommend it. I think, I think it's such an underrated game. Like, for sure. I think it's such an underrated game. But he's going to go Clops into Ludicolo. I think he's going to try to set the rain this way. I mean, I'm cool with it. So, he reveals? Or no, we revealed Ludicolo as Assault Vest. And I don't care if he really, uh... I'm just going to go into... Do I go into a Parasong? But I'm going to just drop a Freeze Dry. That's not super effective. Oh, he's part of ice. I'm going to just drop a Freeze Dry over on this Ludicolo. But he's going to D-Max turn one. He is going to D-Max turn one. Probably this Lapras. Try to set a war belt. No, it's in the net ball. So it's got to be that Ludicolo. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Just from the Pokemon. Let's see. What you want? What you want? No, it is the Lapras. Okay. He caught a Lapras in the net ball? That's cool. That's cool. But he goes Lapras. Um, He's definitely dropping a war belt. I wish I had like Brick Break on this. Uh, that's Clops. That could be totally huge. This thing Light Clade. I totally forgot his item. Mm, this is Okay. Now we're now it's looking pretty scary. I did not know that this thing has knockoff. And it drops my evil light, so we can be in a tough, tough position here. Freeze Dry pops here before the war bell, which is nice. It does big damage and just dumps on the Ludicolo. Cole. Tells him, get out! Get him out of here! Get out of here, dude! But I'm thinking, oh, you're going for Max Lightning on me. I'm cool with it. So he knocks your evil light off, and he goes for Max Lightning. That's honestly chill. That's honestly chill, because now we have this Trick Room up. Now we have Trick Room up, and um, my Dust Cops is kind of just doo-doo in the dirt. Without his evil light, for sure. The Trick Room is up. He's going to go before my lapis, which is rather scary. Which could be scary. We need to twist up the dimensions. I'm surprised he didn't set the Aurora Bell. No Aurora Bell. I think I could play this very well to be honest. Because he might drop ice or he might go for water. Nope. He's going to drop ice next turn. He went into to Paloops. And Paloops is going to go last. 
And I think I'm going to roll into a, uh, hmm. I could paint, but I could haze. I think I'm just going to double into this. I really don't want to trigger that thing's weakness policy. So do I protect? He's got to go after my collapse, right? I'm going to go here. He's got to go after my collapse. Let's see what happens here. So we're going to go first. We're going to try to take out this thing. This thing has to be sashed. That's why I'm doubling into it. We do some damage there. And he's going to go into Oh, another max lightning. Okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm going to go into my Conqueror for sure. I'm going into my Conqueror for sure. And, okay, Scald might take him out without no Evo Light. Okay, no, he eats. That's, that's wonderful. And he gets a crit. What do you mean you get a crit? So he's got to be setting up the reward. And we get burned, yo. Jeez, this dude's getting all the luck. He's getting all the luck. So he's going to drop an Ice Move. Much as I want to Dynamax his Conqueror. As much as I want to do it. I kind of want to pose a big threat so he doesn't get that Aurora Veil set up. No, we got to go Conqueror. Right? He's going to drop ice. He's going to drop ice. And I'm going to make this read and go for a max guard. I'm going to go for a max guard here. Um, I could haze. Uh, he's going to night. Actually, no, go for a pain split over on you. And then I'm a, I'm a D max and I'm a max guard. Because if he comes after me with that ice move, we can prevent the Aurora Bell from even setting up. So that could be huge and possibly get us to win. That could definitely possibly get us to win. I think he's going to come after me with the ice, try to take out my desk cops with the, uh, with the skull. That's really what I think is happening. And then we can start running it because we still have two more turns in trick room. I believe two. I believe two, right? Or maybe one after this. I'm trying to think how many do we have. I mean, he has Lapras Dynamax right off the bat. So yeah, two should be after this. We get the guard off. Pain split pops. So I'm hoping my plan was a success. Oh my HP! Jesus, man. Resonance. Oh, you lucky biscuit. You hunk of junk. You hunk of junk. So he does get off the war bell. Dang it. God, man. Well, he, he read me pretty well there. I wish I had Brick Break. Skull does miss. Or no, we block it. Okay, that's wonderful. And this thing gets... What is it? Rain Dish? Or what just happened? Oh, Leftovers. Okay, Leftovers. I was going to say Rain Dish. I didn't even think it Lapras gets a Rain Dish. But he has the rain. We have all this. Lightning's gonna start flying. I'm really not too worried about the Lapras, to be honest. I'm more worried about this Ludicol or this, uh, Alper. Oh, do I go for another Pain Split? I'm gonna try to keep this thing alive to try to get up another Trick Room. I'm gonna go for a Max Lightning on whom? Like I said, I'm not really worried about this Lapras. Like, what's it have? Hydro Pump? I didn't trigger a Weakness Policy or anything. But I'm gonna take out the Pelipper here. Let's say Pelipper, get out of my face. Yes, and Lapras protects. Let's go. There's no way this thing goes for double protect. Not a chance. We go for the pain split. Okay, it can block the pain, pain split all day. But he's just trying to waste out the, uh... He's just trying to waste out the trick room. But Pelper goes down here. Big life orb damage. So Ludicolo is gone. I have another turn in Dynamax with a Max Lightning. So that's huge. That's honestly huge. And we get the electric terrain up. So we can do a little bit more damage next turn. And then I still have the Toad Kiss in the back. The Toad Kiss can do some work with that Serene Grace. For some flinches. But one more turn in the trick room, I believe, right? One last squad turn here. So we'll get first turn priority, and it could be huge. It could be huge. It goes to the Gyarados. Oh, I can dump on the Gyarados. That's times four. That's times four. So we're going to take out the Gyarados here, and I'm going to go for a pain split on you. Back. Next, let's lightning. Do we think that this thing could be protecting? He, he honestly, I think he's going to protect. I should have went for the Lapras. I'm hoping he doesn't have anything. Like, we outspeed. But he's got to have protect, or he's rolling with Dragon Dance and no protects or anything. That would give us the win. If it, if this guy does have protect, we got the win in the bag. Come on, baby. I told you, yo. Conqueror is so good. Conqueror is good. Especially with this life orb. This is why I want to build around this as he goes into his rain team. My god, we're playing so good with this. But this will be the deciding factor. This will be the deciding factor. If he has protect, he has a chance of winning this. If he doesn't, it's game. He does. Ah! 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 Okay, at least Pain Split will come out here. And we have another chance to set up Trick Room. So it's really up to him what he wants to do. It's really up to him what he wants to do here. Max Lightning still could do a decent amount of damage. But through the Protect, I don't think it's killing. No, it doesn't kill. We do have Mock Punch. Can Mock Punch kill? Or I could just Detect and get this Trick Room up. Because he's going to go after my Conqueror, maybe. Hydro Pump comes through. Onto my Conqueror? Nope. And my KO. I think it's going to KO. No rain. My dude. My dude! Okay, uh, 
Honestly, what's the call? Because someone's going to have to take out this Dust Cloud. And then we get a Trick Room out. Do I protect? I think I... I don't think I protect him. I really think I just take out this Gyarados and roll from there. Hmm. I think I go for the Trick Room. And I go after... Well... No, Gyarados protected last turn. So I'm going to take out the Gyarados here. Someone's got to come after that, and it's going to be the Gyarados. It's got to be the Gyarados, because Gyarados goes first. <gasps> you biscuit. You biscuit. That might have been a play of the year. Let's bounce. Thunder comes through. Am I Conqueror? Nope. He takes out my Trick Room user. No Evo Light. We're down. All right, so it comes down to this. Mm. Thunder Punch misses. Ooh. Ooh. So can Follow Me drag that over? And follow me, drag that over. Because what's called is going to go first. Gyarados obviously going to go first. Then we got to dump on it. We got to say bye-bye to the Gyarados. So I'm hoping follow me can drag that over. Or do I just detect and go after the... Yeah, because that's got to be on my Conqueror for sure. Well, I'm actually just going to play the... Uh... I'm just going to play the Air Slash. I'm going to play the Air Slash, and I'm definitely going to go into this. I could have actually Mach Punch into that. But I don't want my Conqueror to die. He's my main hitter here. The guy just going to bounce. We get that little protect. That's what's so nice about, uh, or, or that's what sinks about bounce is you can just read it and then protect it easily. We get the flinch. That'll be huge. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so he might bounce again. He might bounce again. Aurora Veil does wear off as well. That's huge. I'm going to go for a Dazzling Gleam. I'm Gleaming, and I am just going to rock this thing with a Mock Punch. I can see this thing bouncing again. No, he does not bounce. Go, take him out. Let's go. Let's go. Big Mach Punch coming in with that life orb damage. And the Roar Veil is gone, so I knew we could do a decent amount of damage with it. And this thing's going to bounce again. He is bouncing again, which I'm fine with. Uh, I'm just going to follow me and then just uh, hit that thing with a Thunder Punch and say GG. <laughs> Yo, 2-0 and o with this team. 2-0. and o. Unless this doesn't take follow me. We'll see. We'll see in a second. But I still think we have it in the bag, even if he does take out my Conqueror. But over here, Gyarados. Over here. Go ahead, bounce on me. Yay. Go on my, yeah, Tokus. GG, baby. Good game. 2-0. Paralyzed comes out, but this Thunder Punch should connect and just finish this one off. Boop. Let's go, dude. Playing so good with this team. I thought I was actually going to struggle with the rain team, but I took the, the decision to actually build around my Conqueror, and it worked out so perfectly for us. Let's go. Now it's hop to our third and final battle and try to get a perfect record with this squad. Third and final battle coming at you guys. If you are hanging out with me in this third battle, give me a little bit of hashtag ice cream squad. Ice cream, I think this is the name of the team. Ice for the Lapis, cream for Alcreme. So hashtag ice cream squad down in the chat. This guy has Colossal with that Blast Switch. Could potentially just trigger it. He could just trigger his weakness policy and his steam engine all in one go. He has the Drought with the Torkoal, the Chlorophyll with that Venusaur and the Drought, okay, and the Trick Room set up as well if he really wants to go into it. Like, my team thrives on the Trick Room, so I'm cool with just bringing in. Do I go Lapras out Creme again and try to set that up? I might just go for that. Ooh! Ooh! But then a Rock Weakness Policy, that could be tough. Um, actually, let's withdraw all that. Let's go here. I might lead Conqueror. I think, yeah, I'm going to lead Conqueror right off the bat. And I'm going to bring out Creme and Lapras in the back end. Oh, bring them in the back end, baby. I'm going to bring them in the back. I'm not dealing with this uh, Colossal. That's why I led the Incineroar. I led the Incineroar. I'm not dealing with this Colossal. Because if he goes Blastoids Colossal, I can fake out the Blastoids. I can send something like a Drain Punch over on that Colossal. Do some big damage. Or I can just start trying to take out that Blastoids. Kind of roll out from there. Toga Kiss on Blastoids. So he's going for Shell Smash. He's 100% going for Shell Smash. Does Fake Out go before Follow Me? I'm a little confused here. But yeah, I'm going to go for Thunder Punch regardless. Regardless, I'm going for the Thunder Punch. Intimidate Pops. He's looking for Shell Smash, which kind of threw me off. I didn't think he was going to lead the Shell Smash combo. But I cannot let this happen. I cannot let this happen. So I'm going to go right here and then into a Thunder Punch. I'm doubling into his Blast Let's see what he does. Ori, if he goes Protect and then rolls out and throws me a Curveball by Dynamax in his Tokus, that could be a huge play, to be honest. That could be honestly huge. But I'm thinking of just doing this and then rolling out with a parting shot on whoever I really want here. Which will probably be maybe the Tokus or the next Pokemon he throws in if we do end up just dumping on this Blastoids. I'm curious, I'm curious. Who are you Dynamaxing? 
Who's he Dynamaxing? He threw me a curveball. It's the love ball. Toga Kiss is getting the Dynamax. Don't you dare tell me you're protecting your Blastoids. Don't you dare tell me you're protecting your Blastoids. He's gonna take out my Commodore and get the speed advantage. Oh, that's gonna be tough news for us. That's gonna be tough news for us, dude. Nice play. Don't you dare tell me you're protecting. Oh my lord, yo. This guy's gotta be like behind me. Is he behind me watching me? This dude's gotta be behind me watching me. What a play. I gotta give this dude credit. I gotta give this dude credit. Insane call right there. That was a great read. Oh my lord. Oh, and he gets a crit. He's super locked all up. Get the speed advantage. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts. He's sitting in such a good position. Wow. You hunk of junk. You hunk of junk. Um, best play would probably be to get my Lapras out here and parting shot into my Alchemy. Wow, dude. What a play, you little lucky biscuit. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, let's parting shot out. What this Blastoids? I'm... Blah, blah, blah. Really not dealing with this Blastoids. I'm gonna drop a G-Max Resonance. If this dude... It, I swear, if this dude, like, Max Guards and just plays me dirty here... I, I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'll do. Like, he has to be watching me, like, through my window. I gotta take a peek. Alright, no, nobody behind me. Unless he's hacking and he sees my screen. Because <laughs> he's been going second every single time. Let's see what happens. He's been going second every single time. But this is like our last little chance here. Let's actually set up this reward bell and then get the Alcreme out here after I parting shot. And start decorating it, fake tearing around. And try and do some big work here. <laughs> Let's see. What you want? What you want, baby? I'm gonna go for the airstream. That's cool by me. Go after my Incineroar. No, oh, my Lapras. We eat that up. Is that a crit again? That might be another crit. With that super luck. I don't know. That did a decent amount of damage. It's not a crit. Well, I don't know when it says it. Okay, it's not a crit. That's why it's going to send a Hydro Pump. Ew. I think we should be able to eat that up. No rain. Right? We should be able to eat that up. Nope. Did you get a crit? Nope. That just dumped me. That just dumped me. I thought maybe we could eat that one up, but obviously not. We're getting teed off this match. We're getting teed off this match. Resonance pops here. I'm telling you, this is our last chance. This is our last chance of doing something crazy. Don't you dare tell me I triggered weakness policy. Then we're then we're sitting a little scary. Is he weak? Is he weaky policy? I think he's super lucky with the scope ones. To be honest. Yeah. Okay. No weakness policy. It comes down to the squad right here. To the squad. We're gonna have to set the rain. We're gonna have to set the rain. I'm gonna decorate. I actually might go into this blastoids. I'm gonna decorate right now, and I honestly might go into this blastoids. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking this might kill. I'm not gonna go into the blasters. Don't you dare, Max Guard. The airstream's beautiful. Going after my Alcrimi. Oh, dude, he's tearing me up this game. This game's over with. This game is over. You gotta crit. Yo, yeah, I told you this thing scope lens. There, he's set up, yo. He he had us from the beginning. This guy dominated on me. But he misses his pump. Hold up, so you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. But this guy made that crazy strong read right off the bat and owned me from there. Like, after that play, I was like, oh my lord, that's game. That's game. Because we could have took out the play series. We could have been chilling fine. Does that take out? That should. That hurts. That one hurts. That hurts right there. This dude is on, like, one. Maybe we should drop another little icicle thing. Ooh, that hurts. <laughs> This dude's legit on one. We'll try a Dazzling Gleam. I got a Resonance. Hey. Ah! Yeah, yeah, okay, this one's over. I, I think a follow me is just gonna come out here to save his Blastoids, and the Blastoids is just going to take out the, the what's it called? I think Aqua Jet comes out, actually. By Al Krimi. Thanks for coming. Oh my god, I just got dominated that much match, but GG, yo. That guy definitely deserved it with that awesome read. Dazzling Gleam. We eat, and we take out that. I mean, is there any way I can actually do this? I don't think there's any way I can do this. We're not going to quit. We're not going to call it quits just yet. We have our boy Lapras out here. But, Rain Dish Blastoids with plus three speed. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> and he's probably, he might have a Roar Spear on him. He's going to go out into the Venusaur. I mean, pretty sure I could do work on both these guys, to be honest. 
But this thing's got to go for a sleep powder. He's got to. So I got to hope he misses a sleep powder. And I got to take him out. And I got to take out the Venusaur here. So that's my that's my thing. That is my thing. Take out the Venusaur. Hopefully they miss attacks or something. <laughs> well, that's just goes for the Dark Pulse. Okay. So we should be able to eat that up with the War Mail. Then I'm hoping sleep powder misses. Let's see. I knew it. Oh, it lands. It lands. See, that was my only chance. I needed him to miss the sleep powder. Us to take out that Venusaur. Us to take out the Blastoids in the next turn. Because I knew the Blastoids wouldn't do too, too much damage to me all around. Man. Because we can one-tap them both. But maybe they miss attacks again? <laughs> maybe? Probably another. Well, he has a flinch chance as well. And he's just going to tee off with, on this uh, with this grass move right here. Dark Pulse. And probably roll into a Giga Drain or something along those lines. We eat. Wake up, Lapras. I need you. Sludge Bomb. Okay, so we probably just roll on Solar Beam. We eat. We eat. Lapras wakes up. Dump on that. Take him out. This should KO, right? Nope. Yeah, see, if that would have happened first turn, then that would have been the Blast Suit System. And then it would have been a one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so how are we going to play this one? We got to hope they miss. Like, that's a fact. I just say fact. It really depends who this last Pokemon is. The Colossal. So we are faster than the Colossal. We are faster than the Colossal. Um, I got to hope he misses. I got to hope he misses and we take this thing out. My only chance. Lapras Doom Dirty! Could you imagine if we complete this? That would be insane. But Dark Pulse, it connects. Miss or eat it. Nope. GG. Oh, man. If he didn't hit that Sleep Powder, there was a chance. There was a chance because I honestly think we could have won that if he didn't hit that Sleep Powder. I honestly think we could have. But GG to that guy. He made a great read and ended up beating me. You guys should definitely use this team on the rank double ladder. It is phenomenal. Definitely a top tier Master Ball team with that Lapras right there and that Alcremia to set it up. We dominated in that first match, dominated in that second match, and we probably could have won the third match if that guy didn't make that incredible read. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.